Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Again guys, a big thanks to all of you supporting the channel by hitting the like button and adding a comment. I really, really appreciate you. Thanks a lot. As usual, we're going to start with the EURUSD. We are looking at the weekly time frame. Um, three weeks so far, not much is happening. The momentum to the downside is slowing down. Uh, keep in mind, we are also getting uh, soon to um, the slower part of the year where we have uh, all holidays coming soon. So I think it is time uh, maybe next week. If any moves going to happen, uh, potentially going to be next week before all traders go goes on holidays. But as you see, slowing down. Uh, so the bearish momentum uh, is not there anymore. The bulls are not really showing up. Could be some accumulation phase right now on the weekly time frame. As you see, small body candles. Uh, while on the daily time frame, we've got a nice bounce here to the upside on the euro a slow correction to the downside and then another nice bullish candle to then slow down a bit once again going down to the four hour time frame things are looking okay for the bulls i would say if they gonna attempt to uh, push higher here because we have this first impulse correction another bounce higher now we have another higher low uh, all that is signaling potential uh, rotation to the upside or at least a correction and as i said when we've got this bearish candle here i told you guys after that that this will uh, dictate the range and so far it is doing exactly that the bottom is still here and uh, we've got a little bit of a fake out uh, here but still that's the new range we're gonna um keep in mind on the euro usd and um yeah as for now last week we've got a break out of this um, correction broke the neckline as well so uh, this neckline is broken the market's trending uh, above the 200 moving average on the one hour i think we might look for a, a correction back down early next week to then look for a potential continuation at least to tag this high and if they break above it we are looking to tag this previous high as well on the euro usd that's my plan that's why i'm watching on this market as far as there is no break below this area down down here that's the case for me sterling um, sterling usd um, nice bounce to the upside we uh, we are looking at a key level here looking left you see that been tested as uh, uh, both uh, support and resistance we have the 200 moving average on the weekly at this level as well i mentioned this level in my last week overview i said that if the market dipped down toward this area uh, you have to watch and see if we're gonna get some bounce from here and if we look on the daily we see that that's a clear good um, level for the bulls to defend so what happened on um, uh, friday and uh, thursday even wednesday we've got a test there uh, <coughs> this was uh, this bearish candle was on wednesday thursday we've got a bit of a higher low and friday was the uh, signal here because on the four hour time frame we've got also a break out here of this um, uh, long-term trend line actually and a break above previous highs here so for next week if this really a, a key uh, move here we uh, gonna wait and see because what i want to see here is um, some kind of a correction maybe a retest toward this level and i want to see the market holding above this level to then start looking uh, for a continuation as you see it did enter back inside this range that we've got after this uh, uh, candle when we had the um, uh, Powell uh, testifying and uh, we've got this big candle now this market is back inside the area so what I'm looking for here that this market give me a little bit of a correction and that the market hold above this neckline if that would be the case I'm looking for a bit of a further upside I think the dollar is gonna now be a little bit uh, a little bit weaker and a little bit of a correction to the downside on the dollar which means uh, stronger sterling stronger euro against the dollar usd Japan, not much is happening we're still inside this little range so after the break of this area i told you look for potential retest and continuation we've got the retest 
uh, we've got an evening star formation on the daily candle the market is still inside this uh, lower range now the break below here was a key and um, as for now there is not much else to play keep playing this range waiting for some kind of a breakout but my anticipation now is that we might see uh, this market uh, dipping down to the bottom of the range especially if we see a break below this uh, area here next week if that would be the case look for a retest and continuation because if they break below this things will go pretty quickly because there is nothing to hold this looking left until they reach the bottom of the range okay so uh, another um, <coughs> sign here we've got the 200 moving average on the four hour the market failed to break above it got rejected down retest failed to move higher and then back down again so um, all signs for now uh, showing that we might see continuation so keep an eye on this level down here this gonna be key any break below that look for retest if they fail to break higher we look for continuation that's my plan for usd jappy uh, next week aussie um <clears throat> nice move to the upside i still think that the 50 percent correction is something that uh, we should be looking for after such a huge move to the downside as you see here this is a bearish market absolutely uh, looking on the daily here it's been making lower lows and lower highs so the structure is bearish but such a uh, extended move without bigger correction uh, make me think that it is time for a bit of a correction and that what I, what I said in my weekly overview last week that this key level here looking left is uh, an area of interest for the bulls and really it was we've got a nice uh, three days uh, bullish move here um, now slowing down a little bit because it did reach a key area as you see so what we uh, should be watching for here uh, is to see if we're gonna get a bit a bit of a correction because again even this is one way ticket only so it need to make some kind of a correction is this the only correction we're gonna get and then a breakout could be the case if that would be the case and you see a break above this flag look for retest and then continuation toward uh, 0.73 that's the level that i think is the market objective for now and that's what where we have the 50 percent replacement that i mentioned on the daily at this area okay so um, that's uh, the plan here and if you get a bigger correction let's say the market start moving lower and break this uh, range to the downside i think it is wise to watch uh, down here at around the 200 moving average on the four hour for the potential rotation back up if the break to happen to the downside first usd cat also a nice bounce to the upside after reaching this uh, swing low here this is gonna be a key because uh, if they break below this that will change the direction of this uh, micro trend we had on the daily okay so what happened was uh, we've got the break to the downside here below the old range they did reach the level of interest here and then start bouncing higher so for next week i will watch where the price is right now because i want to see if this was a it is a nice impulse i want to see if this uh, correction that fails to go back inside the range and start rotating back down if they keep failing to go back inside the range i'm looking to sell and targeting the uh, outer trend line down here that would be at least an a b c d move there is further down uh, uh, room for more downside here if they break this trend line though we will see but uh, target one gonna be the trend line and the 200 moving average on the four hour usd chief going sideways not much happening um, yeah consolidation or we have this uh, uh, potential uh, what looks like a, a, as a um, bearish flag it is a, a channel and um, yeah what i'm looking for mostly on this market is the top here as a sell the bottom here as a buy level everything is between in between is very possible unless you go down to micro levels like uh, the one hour and the 15 minute and start playing these ranges instead so you have this range for now that you could play but i don't i honestly i don't really like this chart at the moment it is pretty choppy as i said if anything you could play this uh, minor range here instead as intraday plays but you need to be careful because it is not um uh, really safe inside a bigger range so gold um, we've been talking about uh, the uh, head and shoulder formation we've got here last week but uh, as you see 
and it got extended so we had this inverted head and shoulder or if it was this down here uh, but anyway it got extended the market start going sideways not much is happening on the lower time frame and on the daily we're still struggling below the 200 moving average all the wicks are coming from above the market is not able to break above the 200 moving average uh, either but no break to the downside so for more downside they need to break below this level and this level is a strong level for now usually uh, if you're gonna look at seasonal seasonality chart on gold gold used to be strong during december and that's still not the case this month so we will see but i'm keep watching this level as a key area as far as this level and this level are holding as support I'm thinking that we might see further upside. Uh, any breakout of this um, neckline here, if they manage to break above this, I think gold will go quickly up toward uh, this area at around the 1835 at least. So um, my anticipation here is bullish, but still I'm waiting for the right signal. And oil. <clears throat> so oil uh, did a break below the 200 moving average to then go back above it there is still room to the upside we end up with a higher low last week uh, after the friday candle it would be more um, confirmation if they break above this high then we're gonna target 77 uh, as next target to the upside so checking the four hour time frame you see that uh, this area as expected that's why it's marked on the chart it's been a level of trouble as far as they not managing to break above it it will rotate back down but if they manage to break above that then you look for retest and continuation toward 77 uh, area okay so two scenarios you wait and see here what will happen because last week we've got a break to the downside below this area here to then seeing the market going back inside so you're gonna watch this if they fail give you bearish signal then rotation back down if they break look for retest the hold above uh, that need to hold above 73 area and then look for continuation is maybe the better uh, solution so uh, these are the two scenarios i have for oil and that was it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye